right, so we got an S185 Bobcat. At least I believe it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And we're having problems with um, it's like they wait for me to start recording to so we're having problems with the um, the left joystick on um, on the uh, the Bobcat this says it, it's a later one and uh, it has these selectable joystick controls so you can go from like it's ISO and H, whatever H is. Um, so the problem we're having is it's not moving forward or backwards or side to side. But if we keep it on ISO, it'll control the uh, the lift arms. So it'll it'll lift lower and it'll tilt in and out or back and forth or up and down, whatever you want to call it. And it, it won't go, it won't move. Or forward and reverse if you turn it the selector for the controls to H it will only lift or, or only tilt back and forth it won't lift because the lift has to be done on the the left controller I did have it work where it actually lifted on the left controller for a short amount of time for like a couple of minutes but I didn't want to mess around with it and get the bar stuck in front of the door and get stuck in but it worked for a small short amount of time and then it would throw um, other codes. Uh, when, when it had it set on that, I think it was the H one, where you control your direction or your drive direction with both controllers, it, wouldn't, it still wouldn't control the direction, and it canceled out the, the, uh, the right side drive on the right controller as well. So it, was only, it would only control the, uh, the tilt. So some of the some of the codes that we were getting, uh, basically the one that's there all the time is uh, 39-28, and that's for the left can joystick internal error. And then when I was switching to the different patterns, I was getting the 75-01 can joystick info error. And then um, I think I got the 39-07 left joystick not neutral, but I might have turned it on kind of messing around with it. I don't really know that. That one came up once, but it's kind of when I was playing with it. So what I did was I removed the left joystick and it all it operates all on a CAN network system. And uh, so I've removed the left joystick out of the, the holder and I unplugged it at the where it goes into the the harness and then I got um I got a 39-16 for left can base no com or no communication so I plugged that back in and I unplugged the grip section because there's another little plug there and I got 39-13 left can grip no communication so it it was re it recognizes that it's not communicating with with the two parts so I believe the wiring is good just because of that Otherwise, I'd imagine that um, it wouldn't be able to de detect anything. Uh, being that it's detecting an internal joystick error, I think that's why it's kind of shutting down the drive because it doesn't know what that side's doing and it, it's just not letting you drive it because of the, the, uh, the error with that. Um, if it was doing a no communication to the base, then I would think there would be an, a... Um, a wiring problem just because when I unplugged it it got a no communication and if it wasn't communicating then it wouldn't know that there was an internal error so I think that my issue is just going to be basically I need a new controller for the left side because it's let me say it's all it's all a can controller so basically here's the left handle I don't know if you're gonna be able to read this because I can't tell on this camera. I don't know. But anyway, I'll kind of read it out to you. So we got the left handle and the right handle. Um, 
they both get their power from the same place and then they come in and they splice into um, each one so we'll, we'll just start with the left controller so left one you got pin one is 12 volt power pin two is ground pin three is can high and pin four is can low it looks like they're both the same um, the same type of controller they're just programmed differently um, I was kind of following this to see if try to see if they go to the same spot so it's just one one uh, one input and generally can can lines are all just just one basic network but you know I've seen I believe you can physically switch them but I believe that they are programmed independently of each other so if you do switch them, it will still act as though it's the right handle on the left side or the left handle on the right side, depending on what your problem is. So I'm going to try to figure out where these wires go. Let's see if they all go to the same spot. So what is this one? This one is 95, 50, and 96, 50. This one is 9560 and 9660. So I'm going to guess that they probably go into the drive controller in different locations. So maybe they don't go into the drive controller at all. All right, so here's 90, 9560 and 9660. All right. So they go there. Well, that turns into turns into ninety five thirty. Ninety six sixty turns into ninety six thirty. Let's look at this one here. Ninety five sixty eight. Right. Also the the ninety five fifty comes over here and then it splices into 9570 and then it splices to 9580 and then it comes over here to 9560 and then 9650 so they are you probably won't be able to tell but this is the wire here for one for the right side and that's the wire for the right side and then they all come over here and then they join the wire there and so th here's our can lines so basically everything is just connected and spliced into the can lines and then they both come up here into 9530 and 9630 into the drive controller. So I don't believe we're going to have a wiring problem into the drive controller because it's it, the, unless we get a problem from this splice to here. I mean, there is a connector there, but I don't think that that's going to really be a problem because like I say it's it's detecting that the left handle has an internal fault it detects when I unplug it up here and not down there and it also detects when I unplug the um the handle from the base or actually you know what that's the handle and this is the base so that's probably the base plug and that's the handle plug Either that or this is on the, the other side. And I haven't taken the, I haven't lifted the uh, the cab to see what the wiring is on the inside. So I can go in there and I can check pin one and pin two for power. Uh, I need 12 volt power on those two. And then I'll know that the handle's getting power. Um, like I say, it's it's not really a no communication issue if you have a no communication issue, I would do, I would check those. Basically, it's de just detecting an internal fault. So, just by some deductive guessing, I think that that is what my issue is going to be, just based upon the code for uh, internal error.
So I don't know exactly how this works or why it's not running the right drive when I switch it to the right handle. The only thing I can think of is that it, does, it can't detect the left handle, so it's just not letting you do anything with it. Um, so that's kind of what my, my guess is going to be. So those are the codes I got, and this is why I think it is what it is. I don't have the Bobcat service analyzer or any of that to check it, but that's kind of what I've come to the conclusion of just by looking at the wiring diagram and by the symptoms that I have. Uh, it appears that they have multiple different versions of this uh, control system. Um, like I say, this is the later one. It just it slips into it slips into the um, the uh, the housings, and then there's four screws on the top. I don't know if these need to be programmed. I do know there is a calibration that you can do. I'm not sure if that calibration is only for. I don't know if it's for. Maybe it's, it might. I don't know if it's for everything. Or if it's just for the lift arms, but I will find the calibration and I will show you um, how to do it. Like I say, I'm not sure if it's for this version or this style, or if it needs to be programmed on its own. But I shall call Bobcat and find out what I can find out. So we're over here, and I kind of noticed the, the ISO switch button is flashing. That's not supposed to flash, that's supposed to be solid. Um, so here's how you can check your codes. Push the hold for codes button, and then it comes up with what you got. So if you've got more than one, it'll cycle through. But that code is for this joystick that ain't working. And I believe that that is why that's flashing, because that's saying that there's a problem with the joystick as well so I called about this they said it's um, about $1,400 and I had to order it and they said that it doesn't need to be programmed it's just plug-and-play so you put it in and it should be good uh, you might have to do the calibration because you changed it not exactly sure I mean I guess you can see if if you get any drift or any movement i mean but it's kind of centered i mean i don't know i uh i got a video on the instructions for doing the calibration that i'll have separately from this one because this will be a little long so if you need to find out how to do the calibration then you can watch that video um so another part of the troubleshooting bit is the non-traction control light that is supposed to go out so you got the seat bar lift and tilt valve and then traction control and when you push this they should all light up it's got to be running though but i've had it i started it and it was not lit lighting up so that's it's not letting it move because it's kicking it off probably because we've got a fault in this controller so that's why I believe when I when I swapped it over to this side because I changed like I said I changed the ISO to to H and that that didn't change anything so um, yeah so when I put it on H it, it wasn't doing the drive on this side like I figured it should so anywho. just another piece of the puzzle I guess so I got that this on order basically to to change this you just pull this boot up and then there's four allen head screws in there and then you take those off and then you can pull it up and then there's a plug at the bottom and then you can unplug it and then plug a new one in and screw it back in $1,400 later you can move it again so fingers crossed well our left hand controller came. It took a little while. I had to order it. Um, 
that is the part number made in old Mexico uh, I think this ran about 14 1400 doll hairs so definitely expensive So with that, you get the whole assembly. So we'll go swap this out. And uh, hopefully that's our problem because that would be a hard pill to swallow if it's not. So let's uh, go to the machine. So I don't know if I've showed this, but this is the machine that it goes in. I think it's an 07. Go climb up in. That there. All right. So, so the problem with this is it's not moving at all. It just sits there and throws a code up on the code thing. Uh, pull this boot up. And we got some, um, some little Allen bolts in there. I'll arrange this like that. That'll work. So you're looking at three sixteenths. Um, so, I, um, I unplug this section here, this goes to the handle, and when I unplug that section, it threw a code for the no comma at the handle. When I unplug the bottom here, it threw a code for no comm with, um, or no communication with the base. So it can it detects when it's plugged in or not. So that's why I figured that this was a problem because the code that this was throwing for was an inter internal fault. Um, it was left left com internal fault or left com controller internal fault. So this only has a power, a ground, a high and low CAN signal, a like high and low CAN wire that goes in this. So this basically this is its own module. And it just sends uh, a communication through the network to the um, to the uh, uh, the receiver, or I can't remember what the the name was for the module it goes to. Are you kidding me? We've got the wrong plug on here. Well, isn't that nice? Here's a plug that's on there. That's the plug they gave me. Great. Mm -hmm. Looks like the part number is different. So now I'll have to call them and see if it is a superseded part. So these are part numbers. This one is 669-7904. This one is 668-9920. So I can just repin this to this plug 
it's not a big deal. You just pull this out, and you open up the little things and you shove the wires through and then you just push them in through this side. It's like I say, it's not a big deal. It's just, is it the same? All right, well, let me figure this out. All right, so I lifted the cab up. Um, it was uh, two three quarter nuts in the plates, and they uh, went here in the front of the cab, so you can see the holes there. That's where the holes are. And I unplugged the washer bo bottle pump. I guess I didn't have to unplug that. It was part of the top. I thought I thought this was in the bottom, but it's not. I'm gonna plug that back in. Um, so, so I called Bobcat, and what they told me was that that controller requires an adapter to work. So there should be an adapter harness. Um, so when I looked at the two, obviously the only difference appears to be the end here, um, and this end there um, the wiring also does not appear to be wired correctly for this to plug in in place of that so the, I mean when I hold them up like this the wiring is backwards but if I were to plug this directly into that the wiring matches as though it's a seamless transition through so um, I believe that all this wiring is going to have to be crossed over to the other corners just because obviously the color code so I'm just I'm going by the color code on there um, I can't see them have changed changing it it wouldn't make sense to me to change it considering all the all the other stuff is supposed to be wired like that so I guess I'm kind of taking a bit of a gamble if I transpose the wiring but looking at the color code it these colors match they're just in the opposite area basically it's it matches so it's coming into this instead of going through but anyway so let's uh let's go ahead and put this in there okay so here's where the wire comes out and it comes out down here so I'm going to pull the wiring through. That's where it goes up in there. And uh, feed this down. Put it in backwards. It would be nice if I had a picture of the harness so I knew if I kind of crossed the wiring over, it would uh, let me know if I'm doing it right.
I mean, I imagine the color code stays the color code because you have power ground, can high and can low. Without knowing for sure, I don't know, but I, like I, said, I, I can't see them taking the same exact color wires and reversing them for no reason. And I mean, if that's what you're gonna do, why even use the same color wires? All right, that's it. Let's see. Just so I can go and make sure I have a four pin plug. Zims don't fit. Um, I guess. I mean, technically, I could just take this off. I'll take that off from these. Oh, that is a little different. So that one's a specialty one. So I can't just plug this into that. This keyed. I can't see in there, but see a little orange key in there. So this has to go into there. So let me take this and uh, I need two males or you know what I can do? Is I could probably I mean I guess it doesn't matter. I'll probably remove this plug and then put the uh, the female side on on this and I'll plug this in there and I'll just wrap it up and plug this into the other end so I think I'm gonna do that so Pulled this out of there, or a little hook thing. Um, I don't have these connectors. I have this style, but it's a DT series, so it's not the same. And I'm hoping that the pins are at least usable. Like I say, this one was wired differently than the other one, so I'm going to put this connector on the other one, and I'm going to repaint it to this this um, this wiring. If 
I can get it out. So at least these, those are the same. So I do have these. I took a picture of the numbering on the back so I know how to wire the other one. So we'll go and take the other one apart. Same deal. Just gotta reach in there, push a little tab sideways, pull it out. You usually put like light pressure on the harness. It should pull out. So you put it back together. So these are different. So I'll have to cut these off and uh, install the other ones in one. It would have been easier if I did it outside the machine. But Go ahead and take this out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna remove it. And uh, oh, ah.
That part's done. I just gotta So, brown is two, white is one, yellow is four, or yellow stripe is, yellow stripe is three, and purple stripe is four. So brown, brown is two. I can't see the colors. Purple, that's white, that's yellow. Brown is two, white is one, yellow stripe is three, purple stripe is four.
So, white is one, brown is two, yellow and white is three, and purple and white is four. Let's see. In all the way. Let's go with that. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, have that code, I can't remember what code it was. I will put them on uh, on the screen so you can see them. And if you have that code, 
then more than likely what your problem is going to be is your controller. Um, you've got a left one and a right one. Um, the code itself was for an internal fault. So that's why I deemed these to be this to be bad. And when I unplugged the, the, uh, the handle, it detected a no com with the handle and that code came up. And when I unplugged the base, it detected a no com with the base and that code came up. So that led me to believe that it was communicating with it. It wasn't a no communication with the base. If it was a no communication with the base, I would have looked at the wiring for the um, the two can lines, or you could look at the, I mean, it could be the power or the ground also, um, or it could be the controller that goes with this. It all depends on, like I say, what your code is. Um, this code, like I say, was for an internal fault. So that's why I deemed it to be that. So keep in mind, if you get the newer one with the newer part number, you will either have to rewire it as I did, or you will have to buy the jumper harness. Um, either way, I guess it's up to you. It's just something to look for, because they, they didn't tell me about the jumper harness until I just called them now, or I found out about the jumper harness. Uh, your parts guy might know about it um, in advance, but my guy did not. So anyway. Hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.